We're here at OCIABC where we just heard a super presentation by Mick Uclea, co-author of the book Managing Millennials. Mick, what three recommendations do you have for communications professionals to ensure successful communications efforts with this target audience? Well, Courtney, there's three that come to mind right now. One would be is to build a relationship with this age group, the millennials, because it's very easy for them not to seek out a relationship with the manager because their whole life they've never had to reach up. We've always reached down to them. So a manager should build a relationship with them and find out what it is that they're interested in, what makes them tick, what kinds of things they even like outside of work. And that relationship is where you can really communicate some tacit information that's important for that job. Without the relationship, there's going to be a lot of stuff missed in that organization. Once the relationship is there, you've got now the ability to communicate things that are important for this organization as well. Say so a second thing is when you're giving feedback, they don't mind feedback, but they want it done in a friendly way because one of the rewards in life for them is achievement. And if feedback is done in a negative way, they feel like they're failing because their whole life they've been programmed to succeed. So do it in a friendly way, and not once a quarter, but real-time feedback, done in a way where I might even personally identify with what they did and say, you know, when I was a few years ago, I did something similar to that, or how could you, a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give yourself? They might say, I gave myself a 5. I'll say, you know, I gave you a 6, but what would it take for this to be an 8 or a 9 or a 10? So give feedback in a friendly way, and the third thing will help everybody in their life period, and that is to self-differentiate, which simply means know where I end and others begin, not to take things personally, but to listen to what they're saying and rather than take it personally, be able to uh, understand it and give good, valid feedback and understand why they're doing what they're doing. It's so easy for me when they become, get abrasive, I, I take offense to that. For instance, they call me by my first name, they mean that as a sign of respect, and I'm thinking they're disrespectful. Uh, I don't take that personally, but I understand why they do that, because we've raised them to do that, and don't o overdose on it. So I think those are three things. There's more things we could do, but those are three I think that would be very important in communication 